What does it actually mean to be a conservative? It seems like a lot of people don't actually have the answer to this question. Does it mean you support small government, low taxes and gun rights perhaps? Or is it something deeper and more foundational? I'm Vince Dow and today we're going to address the true virtues of a conservative as understood by historical conservative thinkers like Edmund Burke, Russell Kirk, and others. But before we begin, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to advance our project for authentic right-wing ideas. So the tenets of conservatism have been debated and evolved throughout history, but one central theme is true. Conservatism is about the conservation of some form of a traditional order. After all, it's in the name. Conservatism properly understood is simply that which conserves the traditional American nation. It's not an allegiance to abstract ideas or principles. Those are all the means to the end, and the end is ultimately to conserve the traditional American society. Conservatives respect the past. They look to the past for wisdom. We generally believe that the moral laws, norms, and traditions that have guided civilizations to success over thousands of years are the best guidance for civilization's future success. Why do we want to conserve the traditional American society? Because it was epic. It was cool. We had a good thing going. Conservatives are skeptical of sweeping change. We are skeptical of the idea that we can erase and replace the historic traditions of our civilization for new ones. We believe that traditions are worth preserving because they work and they are vindicated by nature and our creator. By this understanding, we find that American conservatism runs deeper than simply being in favor of guns, limited government, or even the Constitution as a document. An American conservative holistically subscribes to the political, cultural, social, and religious norms that built American civilization. Our channel plans to spend a lot of time detailing how this effort to conserve tradition can translate into concrete policy, but this video will primarily address the foundational philosophy of a conservative. In his famous book, The Conservative Mind, the late paleoconservative writer Russell Kirk writes that, quote, the essence of social conservatism is the preservation of the ancient moral traditions of humanity. Kirk goes deeper to explain how this translates to what he calls the six canons of conservative thought, which we will go over. Firstly, Kirk argues that conservatives believe in a transcendent order that rules society and conscience. This is essentially a rejection of the liberal idea that man exists in a bubble. Conservatives believe that there are forces of a creator or as secularly understood nature that are at play in human societies and cannot be addressed by mere political philosophy alone. Quoting him directly, Kirk says that, quote, political problems at bottom are religious and moral problems. Simply put, conservatives believe that we are not totally in control that humans are not blank slates, but rather steered by the nature that they are given. And hence, this is why we are so skeptical of radically upending tradition and changing society in the name of abstract radical ideologies that reject and seek to liberate from observable human nature. Secondly, Kirk lists what he calls the affection for the mystery of human existence, or more easily understood, the belief that life is valuable in itself, that life is good, and that life is worth living. You often hear pro-lifers talk about the sanctity of human life. Well, this is foundationally where that statement comes from. The conservative stance on life exists in opposition to the utilitarian beliefs of the radical systems, which do not value human life in of itself outside of its service to a state, a regime, an ideology, or an idea. This is why conservatives oppose things like abortion, euthanasia, or the killing of the innocent, even if those lives are not of immediate utilitarian purpose purpose to an ideology or a society. And this is why anti-conservative ideologies of all types have historically been responsible for mass genocides and have shown little regard for human life. There is a conservative view on life that is distinct from that which is not conservative. Thirdly, Kirk argues that civilized society requires order and a class system that humans are naturally hierarchical and hence will so be true of their societies. We strongly oppose the radicals who believe in a classless society and reject hierarchy in the pursuit of equality. We view these things as dangerous, unnatural, and ignorant to the state of human existence. Building on this rejection of socioeconomic equality, conservatives fourthly believe in the right to private property 
away from the ownership of a collective, the state, or a planned economy. We believe that a society that maintains ownership of private property is not just more efficient, it is also more moral. Fifth, Kirk argues for, quote, faith in prescription and distrust of sophists, calculators, and economists who would reconstruct society upon abstract designs. This is again to say that conservatives are distrustful of abstract, unproven theories and are more so concerned with that which has proven to work and prefer to stick with what has proven to work. Lastly, Kirk simply states that conservatives are skeptical of radical change. While society will naturally alter over time, a conservative uses prudence in guiding the progression of that society. Whereas liberals are quick to radically alter society, its norms, and its customs, conservatives exercise patience, caution, and discernment, often seeking to conserve as much of traditional society as is possible alongside the natural progression of that society. So there you have it. These six tenets more or less lay out the virtues of a conservative upon which our beliefs are built. But we could boil them down even more simply by saying that conservatives really just believe that humans are made a certain way, we can observe this around us, and because humans are made in a particular way, you could say, human nature, there are certain systems and traditions that have proven to work throughout history, and they work because they acknowledge human nature. And because those systems are proven to work, we should maintain and defend those traditions. Conservatives should be able to articulate these beliefs coherently and convincingly, yet the sad truth is that most conservatives of today have little to no understanding of where their political beliefs on certain issues actually come from or why they exist. This is why the forces of liberalism have been able to co-opt, subvert, and neuter the conservative cause in the name of things like neoconservatism, libertarianism, or even classical liberalism. We're launching American Virtue as a means to combat this, to allow conservatives to rediscover America and eventually formulate an effective coalition that subscribes to truly conservative principles. So join us by leaving a like on this video and subscribing for more. This has been Vince Dow of American Virtue. Thank you for watching and God bless.